Let's go to the beach. It doesn't matter what part of the world you're visiting, the beach is always a good place to end your vacation. Some of our favorites include Mexico, the Maldives, and the Red Sea in Egypt. That's some talented twirly whirlies there. Now we head to the beaches of Jamaica. We'll be staying at the beaches resort. This is a two part series. We'll be having some fun in the beach and in the awesome pool that they have. Episode two will be encountering sharks and dolphins. We get a little adventurous at Dunn's River Falls and we'll be skimming the ocean floor for some wild sea life. We get a chance to feast on some jerk chicken and hang out with the locals. So get ready for a fantastic time in Jamaica and come along with us on an adventure, a Stein venture. Where are we going? Jamaica. <laughs> what are we gonna do in Jamaica? Swim. We're gonna swim with what? Dolphins. Yeah. Are we gonna go on any um, other adventures? Yeah. What are we gonna go on? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go to the waterfalls. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, somebody's being silly over there. From the plane, you can see Jamaica's beautiful beaches and turquoise water. All of us are anxious to just get off the plane and to get to our resort for some awesome beach time. Some can't wait more than others. It's a wrestling match versus the sea. So this is Jamaica's idea of a hot dog. Babe, show us your wiener. There it is. There's my wiener. What do you think? That looks really red. It looks raw. It's good stuff. Red and raw. Oh, yeah. Is it juicy? Not very juicy. Does it taste like a regular hot dog? It tastes like a regular hot dog. Yeah, surprisingly. That's gross. <laughs> Thanks, Jamaica. Uh -huh. Did I really eat that thing? Surprisingly, it was a decent dog, and I didn't get sick. First things first, we have to wait for our sandals mobile to come and pick us up. Thankfully, they had an airport lounge for us to kick back, get some drinks, and mingle with the family members we haven't seen in a while. We landed in Montego Bay, and after about an hour wait time in the comfy lounge that served us delicious red hot dogs and fancy orange drinks, our shuttle finally showed up to whisk us away to our fantasy resort, our home away from home for the next five days. I can't wait. My feet will soon be happy buried in the beautiful sandy beaches and my lips will be sipping on my favorite drink in no time. You read that right. It took us two hours to get from the airport to our resort. Some of us already started eating dinner. And some of us took a nice, long, And then finally, we saw our resort sign, beaches. We made it. Now we can really start our vacation. Upon entry, beaches resorts looks inviting. The lush landscape and the beautiful fountain gave us a warm welcome after such a long travel time to get here. This place had two great pools one with a water park, and one close to the buffet and entertainment stage. But what about that beach? That's what we've been waiting for. Something that says... Welcome to Jamaica! Exactly! Welcome to Jamaica. Thanks, Calvin. This was our time now. Sipping on those drinks with smiles and swimming until we all get wrinkled up. It was a great day to be out on the beach. A little overcast for a great layer of protection against the sun's mighty rays. Here, huh? <laughs> Everybody having a good time? Yeah! yeah. You having a good time? Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Here we are at Ocho Rio Sandal Resort. <laughs> There's our hotel back there, and it looks like a storm is a brewing. Everybody was having the time of their life. 
It did rain on us for a little bit each day, but it only lasted for about 15 minutes, and it never slowed us down. For some of us, this was our first time in the sand in the ocean. Wyatt was having the time of his life. Throwing the old pigskin was the popular choice of beach activity today. It was a blast just to wind down with a toss to family members. Some chose this time to get cuddly wuddly with the little ones. This was definitely a fantastic way to start our vacation, but it was missing something. Baby Ellis's first belly surfing along the waves? Perhaps. But I'm talking about tradition. Something monumental that everyone loves to do. Bury a loved one in the sand. Kaysen was our volunteer of the day. We got super into it and buried him completely up to his neck. It took us a record time, 15 minutes to complete the job and only three seconds to bust out of the sand coffin. So, how was the experience? Comfy? Everybody wanted their turn to be buried. Mostly they wanted to break free. It was their way of feeling invincible, like a superhero. Sam was definitely in their small cracks and crevices, and there was only one way to fully get rid of it. All right, guys, what are you gonna do? Ride on the banana boat. Banana boat, are you excited? Yeah. A fast paced banana boat ride wouldn't get rid of the sand entirely, but it could if they fell off of it. Well, they never did fall off the giant banana. They held on for dear life and defeated the floating beast at its own game. This was one of many free activities that was included with the price of the resort. Riding a kayak? Are you excited? And who doesn't love kayaking? Not as aggressive as the banana boat. Kayaking is more of a relaxing boat ride along the Jamaican beachfront. Hopefully you worked out those arms. It can get quite tiresome. Unless, of course, you're a little boy by the name of Logan. He's just along for the ride. One thing's for sure. Being in the sun all day makes you hungry. It was time to eat some lunch. Some had the understanding that lunch just included dessert. But I guess that's okay, right? You're on vacation. Eat what you want. Wear what you're eating. And some just wanted to take a siesta with their daddy. After a sweet meal, it was time to hit the water again. We spent a lot of our daylight hours on the beach. Now it was time to experience the water park. Olivia and Kaysen just wanted to relax in their personal donut tube. Calvin, on the other hand, wanted something more exciting, something that would give him an adrenaline rush. Now, if the kids still had sand stuffed in those tight places, this water park would surely get rid of all that really fast. Okay, I guess it's my turn. <laughs> that was cool. And now everybody wanted to try it. Olivia would gently glide her way down the green monster. Yes, it's small, but definitely ends in a bang. Slide after slide, we quickly made our way up and quickly made our way down. Even baby Ellis went down the green monster. He wasn't too thrilled about the big splash, but give him three more years and he'll love it. We loved our time at the water park so much that some of us didn't want to leave for a while. We got a storm of brewing. Even when it started raining cats and dogs, we still swam. Evenings in Jamaica are beautiful, peaceful, romantic, 
and relaxing. The kids still had plenty of energy to burn. What could possibly slow them down? Basketball? How about a show? Beaches puts on a show every night to keep you entertained. It was like a cruise without getting seasick. Tonight was fun. We danced up and down the pool area and made our way to the stage. Then the main event started. A crazy talent show of comedic stunts and juggling. It was a perfect show to end the evening. The little ones were finally starting to settle down and getting tired. What's this? They're juggling knives. Knives are being thrown left and right. Butch even got a chance to show off his juggling skills. But can you imagine being in the middle of an arsenal of knives skimming your face, hoping that one of these jugglers won't slip up? I'm glad it was him up there and not me. The next act to follow the jugglers was an amazing act. His name was Limbo Joe. After a little mesmerizing dance, he began to go to work. Now this all might look really easy, and I know I can do the first limbo, but each limbo, of course, got lower. It also got tougher. Will he mess up? Can he finish all the way to the final limbo? How is he so flexible? It was amazing just to watch this guy do his thing. We were cheering him on. He did it. He finished his last limbo, right? Nope. He had to add a little bit of fire to the pole. Now it was man versus fire. One wrong move and he could burn to smithereens. I know he's done this plenty of time, but it was still awesome to watch. The fire show continued with wheels of fire being spun on top of our heads. This was the best show of the week. I didn't want it to end. I love to watch a good show, especially when there's fire involved. What other activities are there in Ocho Rios? Let's find out. On the next Stein Ventures. Woo! Big spiders roam Jamaica. When we get a chance to ride the dolphins, see the stingrays, and climb one of the best waterfalls I've ever climbed in my life, Dunn's River Falls. Oh, and one more thing. Scuba in Jamaica, anyone? See you next episode. We love to travel the world and bring these videos to you. Thanks for watching. If you want to follow more of our adventures, then hit that subscribe button right there. Right there. You're still here, so you must like our videos. So just subscribe. Right there.